coming up in the next segment, um, I will not just take your calls. I will elaborate on the Egypt situation. I'm going to get to some of that in a moment. But I want to finish up talking about our society, talking about the cultural trends. These are not just my observations. I go off of the sociological numbers that you hear us here breaking down every day and my own experiences in life where I will see more and more people act like selfish, stupid, evil, greedy demons. And that's why the police are getting worse and worse. It's because they are a reflection of the public as well. Our government is a reflection of what we've become. Now, there are giant groups of good people. I would say more than half the population generally are hardworking, good, decent people who are criminally naive and simple-minded and at their base, cowardly. And I would call the cowardice more of a, an excuse of, oh, I don't want to be out front. I don't want to be arrogant. I don't want to force myself into public view. Uh, I'm just going to put my head down. And that, you know, that's a manly thing to do. No, what that is, is insanely cowardly and is the road to absolute enslavement. That's what it's called. I get being a quiet person. I get leaving people alone, minding your business. I do that with individuals. But when it comes to organized corporations or organized government or gangs of people, I instinctively get very angry and very aggressive. One time I had drag rats. Uh, Tommy Pilato was with me. We were downtown having a business meeting, filmmaker. And we walk out and these drag rats aren't like your normal homeless people. And they're not all bad, but large groups of them have raped people, beat people up, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's been a lot of cases of it. There's even been deaths. And I walked out and eight or nine of them said, uh, you know, basically, hey, you know, give me some money. And I turned around to them and I said, oh, really, give you some money? What do you mean? They said, well, it'd be good for you to give us money if you know what I mean. And I said, no, what do you mean? Well, if you know what's good for you. And I said, why don't you all get up and I'm going to stomp your heads into the ground right now. And I couldn't help it, folks. I mean, I was ready to stomp them into the ground. And again, I, I grew up in Dallas getting in a lot of fights. The few times I wasn't in the right in a fight, I'd get my butt kicked because I couldn't get up. If the fight was 50-50, I couldn't even swing a punch. I couldn't even get upset. I had no energy. It was only when somebody was in the wrong, somebody trying to mug me in a parking lot, a group of people trying to assault me that I would turn into absolute King Kong on PCP. Because instinctively, I get completely angry. And of course, they backed off at that point. And it, and it wasn't that I'm Mr. Tough Guy. It's that Eight or nine people who I know have a history of abusing and, and raping and grabbing women off their bicycles and robbing them, I wanted to stomp their guts into the ground. And the reason they didn't take the fight was they figured out, even though they might have won in the end, because I've had my leg broken and stuff like that, fighting a big group of people, five guys. The whole issue is, is that they knew to back off because they knew this they weren't going to get the money out of my wallet easy. There was going to be a price to pay. And that is the difference between a free society and a slave society. Bending over, literally on the side of the highway now, all over the country. But sadly, my own state is so whacked out that all over the country, cops are taking money out of old ladies' wallets. How much money you got in there? Well, I've got $2,000, Sonny. I carry it with me. Boom, they take it. There's no law saying they can do that. They claim it's a forfeiture on site with no proof of drugs. And a lot of these cops aren't even conscious criminals. They're so whacked out, the local judge has told them to do it. And then it turns out the local judge is the one getting the money and living in some million-dollar house. I mean, it is un... And I'm talking about real cases I just mentioned there, a composite of several, a Tennessee and Texas case. Indiana does it. Louisiana is horrible. <clears throat> On record, shaking people down. And when you put up with it, it's what allows it to get worse. Standing up to it is what puts it back in the box. And, and when I come back, I want to talk about the thug culture, the, the oppressor culture versus the jellyfish culture, and tie it into San Francisco 777 crash. 
The passengers left even their own children, it's being reported, and didn't help them. They would go to get their bags. I mean, give me a break. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. I didn't mean to flash back and start talking about getting in fights with homeless people. But all over the country, there's the, the phenomenon of runaways uh, of young people uh, who then are usually led by like a 25, 30 year old, and they're involved in a lot of crime. And Austin is infested with these people. Uh, some of them are actually nice and are, more, are like nomadic groups. They then get fed on by the criminal groups. And my point is, is that the instinct of good people should be to stand up to groups like that. And so when I see government as a giant gang and the IRS running around robbing people without due process in an unconstitutional tax, but even within the confines of people that have paid being robbed and, and having their homes and wedding rings stolen, the horror stories are literally legion upon legion upon legion. That's being run by the Congress, by the president, by the central government. We act like the TSA some bad agency or the IRS or the NSA. This is all part of a plan. There's a reason the street lights are laid out in a certain way and the street cameras are laid out in a certain way and the street signs. It's an organized program. And most of it's secret. What we know about it is, is they're trying to change the genetic environment of the planet where it's artificial and you've got to go to them to even be able to have kids or have crops. And they're busy spraying aluminum dioxide, barium salts, and other chemicals. I've got a story out today that are on record thousands of times in the metric worse than the old CFCs that were in spray bottles. Why is the government trying to destroy the ozone layer in a giant secret program that it's declassified they're doing the program? And what they're spraying, last time I checked, $5 billion a year, Department of Energy alone, just to pay for the program in North America. These people operate like they're aliens from a trillion miles away, come here to destroy us. I'm not saying that's what they are. They might as well be that. <clears throat> you understand when I got up here and told you about our family pediatrician who had one of the biggest pediatrician outfits here in Austin, he recently sold it and retired. I'm not going to say any more. Grabbed me by the arm seven, eight years ago and saying, listen, you know these big free clinics they have? I listen to your show and it's true. He goes, guess what we were given? Because doctors are supposed to volunteer. It's like compulsory volunteerism and they've got to go back to schooling and stuff. You're supposed to do so much volunteer time. So the doctors go to the big Zilker Park and sports stadiums. I don't know where I live. It happens in your area. And you might have 3,000 people come to get their shots. And he said he looked at the dose vials. They were giving liquid 1960s batch, totally illegal polio, live polio that had SV40 in it, a highly contagious cancer virus that you can pull up the government's own numbers. They believe contributed to over 100 million cancers just from the 50s through the 70s when it was made illegal. By the way, I see in the news all the time, they're still using that, the, the, those original batches to replicate it. And then they grow it on fetal tissue, they grow it on eggs, you name it. And they're shipping it to Africa, Asia, you name it. That's why all over the world they go, we don't want that in Pakistan and, and, in, and in Nigeria. They run from the white witch doctors and the UN witch doctors. Because folks, they used to run to the medicine man. Now they run from the, from the European or the EU or the UN medicine man. Simeon Virus 40, SV40 polio vaccine fact sheet. It was discovered in 1960. That's the CDC's website. Soon after the virus was found in the polio vaccine. And it says more than 98 million Americans received one or more dosages of it. Oh, isn't oh, that sweet? By the way, they're still giving it. And they're still sterilizing people in every town and every city. And they are still putting poison in the water, hydrofluorosilicic acid, on record that wrecks your mind.
and wrecks your fertility. <clears throat> and people hear all this, and you can go look it up and find out it's true. I mean, the crew's sitting in there just typing in whatever I say and pulling it up on the government's own websites. I'm not making any of this up. And that doctor had the courage to tell me, but he also had the courage to grab me hard by the arm and say, and I told you, you don't tell anybody my name. You can tell the story. And he said, I went and complained about it and was told to shut up. They know full well. Here, bring your kid down to Zilker Park. We're going to give them liquid monkey virus that is a death sentence. A death sentence. Sentence, and there'll be no police investigation. There'll be no discussion on the news. Just like when I get up on air and say, all over the country, in the hydrofluorosilicic acid, they're adding radioactive isotopes. Local media goes out, checks it at the, at the wastewater plant and the treatment plant, and it, the Geiger counter's off the chart, and they say, what is this? And the locals go, we don't know why it is. Forget about it. Must be in the aquifer. Must be naturally radioactive. And again, I just keep going back to this over and over again instead of all the news because they're killing us. It's back in the L.A. news that they forcibly are sterilizing people. Of course they are, illegally. And no one's going to get in trouble because it's a plan. <clears throat> you know how the SV40, another cocktail of those specific viruses, it, by the way, didn't come from monkeys. Dr. Sock and others bragged about it. Those were cooked up especially for you and your family. Sure, they grew them on monkey kidneys. But they didn't come from monkeys. That's a weaponized virus program. Guess what they do? They go plug into your DNA. They go into viral plaques is what they're called. They engineered this whole family perfectly to wait until your hormone level lowers. And when your hormone level lowers, it then triggers the viral plaques, similar to shingles, which is really just uh, in the whole family of herpes. When does it trigger? When you get older. When does it get to where it kills people? When you're old. When, when you're young, when you're under stress or have a lot of problems, that's when it breaks out. Folks, it, there's stuff a lot worse than herpes. It's called deadly. You know what SV40 can do in the sinus? The, uh, the, the particular cancer, you can look it up. I, I forget its Latin name, but it looks like blue yogurt, purple yogurt. How's that growing into your brain? Just a little, a little gift for you and your family. They're murdering you with pleasure. And if I walk up to Austin cops and start saying, hey, the government's murdering people, the DynCor building right there uh, in town, uh, here's the Washington Post, here's the uh, Chicago Tribune, how they got caught running child kidnapping rings. The cops, I've done this before, go, I know I work for them part time. Get out of here, Alex. That happened in front of P.F. Changs. And then another time, the cops are like, yeah, we know. What do we do about it? What are we supposed to do about it? We're told who we can investigate. I mean, it, it, I, okay, I said I'd go to your phone calls and I'm going to go to them. But I talk about the culture of thugs. People that have figured this out decide to act like predators and thugs. So whether you're a street criminal, a corporate criminal, a corrupt cop, there's that whole culture. Or then you've got the culture of the slaves who just get real self-serving, though, and put their head down to everything, but then do the minimum amount of work, suck off things, don't care about anybody but themselves, and think that's an attribute. And then you've got the nanny staters who go around persecuting people in the name of the government, whether they work for the government or not, who don't really care about, in the major studies that are out, like the environmentalist, who don't, the, the, the fake environmentalist, they don't care. They had a big Canadian study last year. They don't actually care about real issues. They just want the power from it that they are the moral authority. I think the Canadian study was a major government study that the environmentalists were six times more likely to be thieves and to be dishonest. The groups that answered that they were the biggest environmentalist. Because it's just a way to say, I'm a Pharisee. I'm good. All the rest of you are bad. And meanwhile, real conservationists, real environmentalists, people that are really concerned, oh, we, Alex, they're not growing corn in Texas that has live HIV virus in it. <laughs> oh, and no one will even look that up. It's Associated Press. 
Protogen is the company. And that's why if a cop pulls me over because I'm driving late at night or something and I know I'm not speeding and they go, mind if I search and got any drugs? I'm like, do you have any drugs? Because you know the government ships most of them in. And they're like, oh, oh, well, what's your problem? What's my problem? They're lining kids up nationwide and giving them oral cancer viruses, live cancer viruses that's communicable, and you're just going to laugh at me. Because, see, it's too big of an issue. It's too big for you to deal with. So you're just going to pick on me and act like you're holding society together and the thin blue line, blah, 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 when we've got psycho eugenicists running the whole show. But look at this article from Forbes. It's up on Infowars.com. San Francisco 777 crash. Why did so many passengers evacuate with bags? And again, I've seen it in our local news that when the drag rats will catch, you know, two young yuppie women coming out of a restaurant down on South Congress or down on the old drag or whatever, they'll, they'll grab their, they'll, they'll, they'll order them to give them their purse. And the women usually out of fear will just give it to them. And if not, they'll punch them in the nose, rape them, whatever. And then I, I, I was thinking how that's just like the police when they're like, I'm going to search your car. It's not mind if I search. It's like people on the New York subway will sit on both sides of you and go, mind if I look at your watch? Can I have it? So they're not legally actually robbing you. They're, they're, they're with the in inference of it. And now the police are like, I'm going to search the car. Give me authorization or I will taser you. Or answer my question or I will taser you. Failure to not follow my order in the threat continuum of a force continuum is an absolute error. Now you're all now private pile in the Marine Corps drill sergeant situation. I'm going to do a cavity search. You, you, the women are in the bikini. The video's up on Infowars.com right now. In Texas again. You, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. Up against the car. <clears throat> And, and, then, and then the police are like, well, they complied with it. Yeah, they complied like when somebody comes into a park and says, hey, two year, or three-year-old, while your mom's in the bathroom at the park, get in the car, I said. And the little kid reaches their hand up, does what they say. It's the authority figure. And that's what the drag rats do, robbing people. That's what the police do you know, with their knock and talks, wanting to come in people's houses. It's all criminal psychology right out of criminology 101. And that's all eugenics and all this is. It's just a bunch of predators who want to do mean things to people, setting the precedent that they can get away with bloody murder. And then they've got useful idiots down low who actually believe in the whole system. <clears throat> and so I'm not surprised that trendies flying into San Francisco on 777 out of South Korea, because this, you know, this is how it is all over the world now, anywhere that's industrialized, humans are the same. People are so into themselves, they won't risk their life to help somebody who's choking or whatever, or to go into a house to save people, but they will risk their lives if their iPad is in a burning house. Or if they're, I mean, imagine the plane blow, crashes, the tail falls off, it bursts into flame, jet fuel everywhere, and people are going in the overheads to get their bags out to then try to get out of the aircraft. I mean, the minute it's crashing, there's flames. The first thing I'm doing, and with you know, the strength that comes with caring about your kids, is grabbing my children, throwing them on my shoulder, and I'd probably get incredibly hurt just jumping out of the hole. That's just a normal behavior. But no, it, it, it's reported watching the videos and witnesses that and it appears from the reports that people weren't even leaving their own kids, but they wanted their bags. Now, that's a programmed group of people that only care about themselves to such a point that one man even was interviewed by the New York Times, said that he grabbed his bags and then his kids. They're even proud of it. I mean, I can't believe parents will let the CPS take their kids clearly when there's no reason to do it. And then when a family runs with their kids, they're called terrorists on the news. They've taken your basic, normal human instinct and flushed it down the commode. We're going to go to break, and I'm going to come back and take your calls for two segments. Then we got Larry Pratt popping in, and then I'll continue uh, with your phone calls. But 
This is the difference between having a civilization and not having a civilization is that good men do nothing and you have a tyranny. All that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. You know, I've started lifting weights again with light weights trying to lose weight. <clears throat> and so maybe once a week I have time to go down to a local YMCA and I'll watch cops come in wearing their local cop shirts and I'll watch them kind of strut around and bug their eyes out at people. They're not too bad, but I've seen groups shove them in there. And it's a totally different group of people when the fire department is always there. No matter when I go, somebody from the Hayes County Fire Department is always in there. I was watching these guys do like 60 pull-ups and then go back and do it again and doing these things where they're doing pull-ups and swinging their body all the way over, basically in a gymnast move. And they're so nice and friendly because they're fire department people who actually have a real job and who actually serve the community. And I'll never forget watching the Austin police with their cadets in a swim test. And about a third of them could barely swim. Three of them had to be pulled out. I even shot video of this and life jackets put on because they couldn't swim. And the head police that were teaching them weren't that good of swimmers. I mean, you ought to be able to swim two miles to be a cop. You ought to be able to do 40 pull-ups to be a cop. And I'm not sitting there claiming I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I used to do 45 pull-ups. I can barely do three of them now. But the point is, and as I watch these fire department guys, they are the polar opposite of the police now. I'm not saying all police are like this, but nice guys, friendly, not putting off a power trip, and just savagely lifting weights and just, you know, in incredible shape. You can tell they're drug-free, too. You can just look at their muscles. Just savagely strong because they need to be able to pick people up and stuff. They need to be able to, you know, climb out of a window. And, and it, it, you just see the difference in the culture. And now they're trying to corrupt the fire departments and make them secret police. It's so disgusting to see that happen. And I've talked to a lot of retired people, read a lot of criminology. 30, 40 years ago, all they cared about being a cop was that you were somewhat honest and really tough. Nowadays, it's about hiring little social worker bureaucrats who are on power trips and want to dominate you. Because a really tough guy is not going to want to dominate people that haven't done anything. A, a, a warrior is going to want to go after bad guys and defend innocent people. Not, oh, I think you might have marijuana. I'm going to stick my hand in your rectum and then your vagina. I mean, that's totally illegal. But their supervisors have told them they're allowed to. It's a disgusting power trip by people that can't even swim. They're hiring people with under 100 IQs, and it's a joke. I do not want to be ruled over by a bunch of power tripping semi-lobotomized morons that can't even do pull-ups. We'll be right back. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate, tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones, 
at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Broadcast is listener supported. We have the best pro liberty t shirts, the InfoWars July issue of the magazine with 10 bumper stickers inside of it to spread the word. We've got the pro pure water filters with the lowest price with promo code water. We've got the new state of mind film that's going to premiere on the 17th on InfoWars Nightly News. We have it on DVD and Blu ray. InfoWarsStore.com or 888 253 3139. 888 253 3139. And again, I remember growing up in Dallas, and my dad had friends that were police that would come over and stuff and play cards and things like that. They were all just really nice, friendly, Boy Scout-type guys. And now, more and more, they want thugs. I'm not saying all departments are like this. If you've got a Boy Scout department, that's good. But people think it's tough now to be a thug. I saw two different spy thrillers last week. Uh, one of them was called Numbers, I think. It's like where they're working at the CIA base in England. But the point is... And I was watching another one half asleep. So that's why I don't remember the name of it. My wife was watching another one another night. And it's like the CIA goes in a house and kills, you know, the former CIA guy and goes ahead and just shoots their daughter while they're at it. And that's okay. That's a good thing to do. We got to kill their family. It's collateral damage. They're warping everybody's brains with these shows. And that's why the cops all the time you see it in the news go in a house, even the wrong house, and say, get in a fetal position to the naked guy out of his bed. Now crawl to us. And then they taser him and rubber bullet him for fun. And I've seen the videos of police laughing about it. Did you see how I shot that lady with the sign in the face with rubber bullets? <laughs> yeah, she had blood pouring out her nose. <laughs> You're going to have your bank accounts taken too, dumb dumb. You're going to be injected with cancer viruses, dumb dumb. You're not being given this power to abuse people for no reason. Evil is coming in. And we need to wake up to it and say no. And I don't mean to obsess on the police all day. The point is, that's where the rubber meets the road. And I wish the police would try to be more like firefighters and, and act like that. I, I mean, I guarantee you, folks, if I went and saw a group of firefighters being trained at the uh, local pool 
at Deep Eddy that I bet they could all swim. You don't know how bizarre it is to see the police, and most of them were horrible swimmers, and some of them had to be fished out and couldn't swim, couldn't tread water for five minutes. Like children gulping and drowning. I mean, it's just mindless. I don't mean to go off into a jag. It's just so pathetic. Coming up after I take some phone calls, analyst George Zimmerman probably won't be convicted of murder, of manslaughter. Here's why. And I agree. They have a very bad case. And there's, there, there, there's, there's reasonable doubt that he's guilty. I think he was stupid to go following somebody around with a gun. Unless he saw him committing a crime, and that's a different subject. George Zimmerman is probably an out-of-control cop wannabe type. Turns out most of his family and friends are cops. I don't know why he didn't try to go get on their department. But the point is, is that he was clearly jumped on top of and beat up. And now threats to riot, loot, if Zimmerman found innocent intensify. It is thousands of tweets without even looking. That people, where they're going to attack, what they're going to burn down. Uh, all racially uh, organized, basically. And it is really, really sad. You know, why don't we all get together and get angry and, and march against cancer viruses and vaccines? Oh, no, no, no. Jesse Jackson doesn't support that. Why don't we all march by the millions for the unborn children getting chopped up where we know they're innocent and it's wrong? Oh, no, it's too much fun to notice how the Justice Department kept calling Zimmerman white. The guy looks like Kim Jong Un to me. Nothing against Asians or anything, but I mean, you know. I mean, what is this whole deal? What? <laughs> Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.